Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We're going to jump straight into today's video which is a bathroom makeover on a budget. I'm so excited to share this one with you guys. Here are some before clips of how my bathroom started out. I'm also going to leave both of our Instagram links down below in the description box. Definitely make sure you're following both of us over there. We're a lot more active. You get to see what's going on more in our daily lives. And we also have a vlog channel. If you're new here and haven't heard, we have a vlog channel that we like to post on Fridays and sometimes twice a week. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to both channels and following both of us on our Instagram accounts. But now we're going to get straight into prepping the cabinets because we are going to be painting them. I feel like painting is just one of the biggest changes you can make to a space so I pulled in Chase to help me on this one just so I didn't mess anything up So like I mentioned earlier, this is a makeover on a budget, but if you are on a zero dollar budget, the biggest thing you can do for a space is to declutter it and organize it and clean it really well. That will just make a huge impact. If you do have a little bit of cash, definitely paint something, get some spray paint. Just making a few tweaks can make a huge difference in a bathroom. But as you can see, Chase is just going from cabinet to cabinet. We don't have a ton in here, but there were about four doors he needed to remove. And then we'll be removing the drawers as well. I did remove everything out of our drawers so that we can paint those because we are going to paint the entire drawer. Um, so I just put everything in a box and tucked it away in a closet. The less stuff you have out, the better. I know when you're doing makeovers, it does get super chaotic and that's okay, but I didn't want to lose any of these items. So I definitely just put them in a box and then put them in Chase's closet because <laughs> that's where I hide everything. Then we can work on getting these painted and I'll show you what my bathroom looks like with all the doors and drawers out. While picking up a paint, I noticed these little gadgets that you can use to paint things on and I'm always trying to find things to stack um, just when I'm painting items. So I thought it would be nice just to have. Sometimes we do wood, but I liked how small those were so we could just store them in a drawer. They were about six bucks from Lowe's. I'll have those linked down below in my description box if you're needing something like that. And now Chase is gonna remove all the hardware. So this is the hardest part about painting cabinets. Yes, you need to remove the doors. And yes, you need to remove the hardware and you will be so thankful when the product is finished. I know it's a lot more work and a little more time consuming, but it's going to look so much more professional if you take the time to do this. It's also easier if you remove like the slides on the drawers where the rollers go. You can paint around them, but you'll never get as close. And if paint gets in there, they're not gonna slide as easy. So definitely just take a few moments, go ahead. It's just a few screws and they go back on super easy just because there's already holes in them. Do not fill the holes on the drawers or you won't get them back exactly. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start sanding. We went ahead and picked up a sander. I got so sick of like sanding by hand. So I'll link this for you guys. It sped up the process so much. All I had to do was to turn it on and it worked so quickly. You can see I just kind of go over all the areas that were already peeling and chipped. Oh, these need to be painted so bad. And then I would kind of rub my hand over it just to make sure it was nice and smooth. And then I would go on to the next one. Oh, 
I would definitely sand your items outside or in the garage. It does get a lot of just like dust flying around. You're gonna see my black pants. They're pretty much white by the time I'm finished. So if you have an area you can go out into. They also make a liquid sander. I mean, it's kind of hard on your hands, so definitely be sure to wear gloves. On items like this, definitely sand down anywhere it's chipping, but if you don't have any chips, you can definitely try out that liquid sander. You just put it on a rag and rub it, and that works really well too. But like I said, these cabinets were like chipping, the paint was terrible, it needed an actual sanding to make sure it was nice and smooth. Now we're gonna remove the hardware so we can spray paint it. So if you do not have a budget for new hardware, I did a little bit of both. There were some pieces that I kept and then I ordered some others. This is going to be the spray paint I use. Grab whatever you want, but if you're needing a good gold, I thought it turned out amazing. If I can find it, I'll link it. If not, I found it at Lowe's. But definitely just spray paint the pieces that you can't replace and they are going to look brand new. I'm gonna spray paint this first one right here since I have have two of them and then I'm gonna show you the difference it's like a brand new piece I feel like it the details stand out even more so just because you don't have a budget to get all new hardware doesn't mean you can't update it and refresh it I mean a bottle of paint is like three to six dollars and it will last you forever so that's what I mean if you don't have a big budget just spray paint a few things one bottle will go a long way and then that space will just kind of feel new and fresh again while I was out there though this evening it took about three days um, we just had a beautiful sky, so I just wanted to share that with you guys just real quickly. Sometimes it so here is the paint we went with for this project. Get ready to screenshot the next slide if you want to know the color or exactly everything about it. It's Greek Villa and it was a Sherwin-Williams color, but if we got their paint, it was going to be about $80 a can and that's fine when we're painting outside, but we did not want to spend that much inside. I think this one ended up only being about 30 bucks and we were super happy with it. It was a paint and primer. It was super thick and creamy, like it wasn't runny at all. So we were very happy with the paint and the price of it. So definitely just be sure to check in prices when you're doing that. Now we're gonna begin painting. So this is when the scary part begins because you think, okay, now I've started, there's no returning. But just never be worried. If we didn't like it, I was deciding between white and gray and I said, let's start with white and if we don't like it, we'll just repaint it. It's really not that big of a deal. I think people panic, but it's not that hard to fix. So now we're just gonna start painting all of these pieces that are inside and just get their first coat on so we can kind of start to see what it's going to look like. Halfway from and then I learned this quick tip from a lot of you guys. If you're gonna be painting the next day, just put your paintbrush in a bag in the refrigerator and you don't have to clean it every night. So thank you to everybody who shared that with me. Now we're gonna move on. This is day two. When I had woke up, I sleep in a little bit later than Chase. He had already started painting all the cabinet doors and it was looking so good. Um, here's a little clip of how our bathroom's looking. This was with two coats on it, just so you can kind of see what the color's kind of starting to turn into. Just in case you're wondering, it did take three coats for us to get the, it was a really weird like brown tan color. Anytime you're going from a darker color to a lighter color, I feel like there's an extra layer of paint. If we were going from white to like tan or gray, I think two would have worked out, but we just wanted to make sure this was like a solid white and there were no streaks or nothing shining through. Um, we had thought about buying a sprayer to spray these. I know it's much more convenient, but something to me is so scary about the sprayer and having to mix it and having to clean it. Me and Chase are just so comfortable with just using a paintbrush and painting. That, that's what we did and we're super happy with the way it turned out. It probably does take a little longer than just spraying them, but the end product is still gorgeous. Took two to break us down. 
Now you're gonna see me just do a real quick like speed clean in here. So we decided to tackle this guest bathroom makeover when we had a family coming into town. So they were on their way. They weren't like spending the night here, but they were gonna be over here during the day and stuff. So I just wanted to get this picked up where if anybody wanted to go in there, they could. Obviously we have two other bathrooms and I had those clean and ready to go, but I did want this space somewhat presentable just in case somebody went in there. So you're just gonna see me kind to put it back together it's not going to be perfect but the paint was dry at that point so there weren't cabinet doors but if they needed to like use the bathroom or wash their hands they definitely could Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's a doubt in my mind So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's definitely functional. If somebody needs to go in there, they definitely can and they're not like worried. And like I said, the paint was completely dry. So once I got this bathroom clean, I headed on over into my beauty room so I could wash the new towels. I had to pick these up from Ross. I'm gonna show you the prices. The big ones were $7.99. And I just like to remove all the tags and get them nice and clean before I put them in the space. We don't wanna use dirty towels that have been in the store and on shelves and touched and on the ground, wherever on our clean bodies. So anytime we get anything new, I just like to remove the tags and go ahead and get them clean. How I shiver inside doesn't show, but my nerves are inside out. It's because you're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was. I also bought the matching hand towels. They were $3.99 each. They didn't have any washcloths, so I'm just gonna pick those up somewhere else. But if you're needing a good deal on like new towels, I feel like Ross is a good place to start. I feel like they're affordable and they're still super high quality. They're better than like Walmarts. I bought Walmarts before and they just didn't hold up well and they were super thin. These are like nice and fluffy and soft and they always have like sets. Like they normally have like the whole set of like towels, washcloths, all of that together so that you can have a complete set in your bathroom. But now we're gonna move on to all the new items I got for decorating. I wanted you guys to kind of see the direction I was going. Obviously I'm adding some gold in there. It was definitely time to start sprinkling that throughout my house because I have it in my living room so much. I wanted a gold shower rod so bad, but they were kind of pricey and I couldn't get them in quick. And I didn't want to spray paint ours because I feel like it would chip every time you like close the curtain. So I picked up this curtain rod and I'm going to be showing you later how we made it work. I also got clear hooks. These were super cheap, but I didn't want like gold on gold and the gold's not to match. And I also didn't want like silver and gold. So I just picked up the clear. This is the shower curtain I found. This is like what started the whole makeover. I found it for $9.99 at Ross and I'm in love with it. I knew I had had to redo our bathroom to make it work because the color didn't match our old cabinets. And then of course I grabbed some more of my crystal knobs so we could add some gold in there. Is it really a makeover if I didn't add crystal knobs to something in the space? Um, so here are all the items and I cannot wait to show you how it turns out at the end. I just wanna go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna start with new Yeah, I'm on my way now 
Now we're gonna finally start to install the hardware and the doors. This is kind of when it starts to come together. You can start seeing what it's gonna look like. But Chase is putting in just the gold hooks. This is what I like to keep our hand towels on. I know it's not like the traditional thing, but I feel like it's easy for kids just to throw it on there. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on. It was super easy because the holes were still up there. So it really doesn't take much time just to pull down the hardware, spray it, and then put it back up. Maybe I can be a rock star Playing songs on my guitar I know I have to be somewhere else To be able to find myself Shouldn't be so complicated If I listen to my heart I'm gonna leave it all behind Find myself, I'm gonna stop. I think the gold on the white paint is gorgeous yeah. Now I did want to let you know we are going to be mixing metals. I thought about getting like a gold um, faucet, but it was just going to be too much. If we had to do like all the lighting and the knobs, not too much for the budget, but I just think it would have been too much gold in that room. So, and I love mixing metals. I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but I really enjoy doing that and seeing the contrast of it. So. Now Chase is starting to add all the hardware back to the drawers. And like I said, the hardware is one of the most consuming parts of it. Taking it all off and putting it back on and like hanging the cabinet doors. Um, I also wanted to show you, we're using the same handles. So they're gonna fit the same and have the same holes, but we went with gold ones. Now we did buy these from Amazon, but if it's not your budget, you can definitely just spray paint yours. I've even heard they have like a sealer you can spray on them so that the ones you use a lot kind and will last longer and it won't chip or just wear with a drawer you open daily. Now we're gonna go ahead and start putting the drawers back in and I wanted to give you guys one little tip. The first night or two after you guys paint them and put the drawers in, definitely just leave them cracked. Otherwise, if it didn't dry completely, sometimes it'll stick, the paint will stick to each other. And when you go to open it, it's stuck and then it kind of like messes up the paint when you pull it off. So like I said, just the first couple nights, go into whatever space of the cabinet you bought and just kind of pull them out. Do it with the doors as well and it'll save you some like fuss from having to like touch up paint. Now we're gonna touch up some of the wall paint. I noticed there were just some areas that were dirty or chipped. Um, I even filled a few holes um, because I took down some pictures that were in there and I just wanted the paint nice and fresh. We already had this can of paint out in our garage and I hated to make everything else look so nice and new and crisp and then just have dirty walls. So I just started painting and you guys know once I start, I just can't stop. I end up painting like the whole bathroom with that tiny little brush. I clearly wasn't planning on painting. I'm like in a nice outfit, but it just kind of like comes over me and I can't stop. Here in a second, you're even gonna see me. I started painting the whole hallway outside of the bathroom and got that whole <laughs> um, hallway painted. I just love fresh paint. I love it just being nice and clean. I don't know what it is with kids, but they like take their hands and just run down the hallways. So it felt so good to get that nice and fresh again. Yeah. 
While George is living his best life down there, that's his favorite spot by the way, Chase has started to put on the cabinet doors. There's a, always a little tricky to make sure you can like shut them and they're even. So it did take a little bit of work, but it's always worth it to take those off. Um, now I'm gonna start organizing the drawers. So while he's working on the doors, I'm gonna go ahead and start just putting everything back in. Since these were organized before, I know where everything goes and just how it was, but if you didn't have them that way, this is definitely the time to do it. Don't put things you don't need back into a nice, clean and new space. Definitely just take the time to declutter. You'll see that Ziploc bag. I like to just keep all of my samples from like hotels and gifts I give, just so when guests come over, if they forget something, they can pick it out of there and use it. Now we're gonna begin decorating slowly as Chase starts putting all the hardware back on and doors and drawers. It's getting to the fun part, which is decorating. You guys know me, I'm always shopping my home. So as soon as I saw that we were adding all the gold in there, I knew this lamp would be perfect for the guest bathroom. I know I always get questions why I keep a bathroom light in there or just like a lamp. I just think it's a nice soft glow. And if you have company over, you don't have to keep the bathroom light on because your lamp's on. And I feel like it's just easier for them to find. They can see the light switch. I don't know, I just feel like it's a nice touch and I'm super happy with the way it turned out. But now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my shower curtain rod, my old one. This thing needed to be replaced years ago. I didn't realize like how scuffed up it was. But I'm gonna take this into Savannah's room so I can start working on getting that rod gone and then pulling out the new hooks and getting them ready to go for the gold rod. So once I opened up my new curtain, I realized it was super sheer, like see-through. And we already have a um, window in our bathtub, so there's light behind it. So I decided to go ahead and lay off on my white um, curtain, shower curtain as well. So I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna have the new gray one, the white one, and then the clear one, just to kind of help with privacy and so it's not as sheer. And then here in a second, I'm about to show you how we're gonna turn a curtain rod into a shower rod. Um, I did not know we were gonna have to do this. We had to stop mid project to go buy something, but I wanted that gold shower rod so bad that I knew I was gonna make it work. So we ran to Lowe's and found these um, in like the closet section where you were gonna do like a closet organization system. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray them gold. I'm gonna use that same can of spray paint and it actually matched my rod so so well and that's what we're gonna hook up on the wall for the rod to sit on um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these sprayed Okay, I'm gonna show you how this turns out at the end, but while those are drying, I wanted them to dry about 30 minutes before we actually had to screw them into the wall. I'm gonna go back to our bathroom and start working on our cabinets and putting all the new towels in that I washed and folded just so it's displayed really pretty when a guest is to open that up and need towels. I did grab some new washcloths. They were like $2.99 from Target. They don't match, but I just feel like they're cheap and easy to grab and most of the time you're just using them to take off makeup and that way I can just replace them a little easier. Just 
Okay, now we're gonna work on some wall decor. I tried to find a gold piece of artwork for this wall and I could not find anything. I couldn't even find anything to spray paint. So I walked through Target and I found these gold hooks. They showed them for like keys and purses, but I thought, hey, those are gonna match my bathroom perfectly and we can just hang our towels from them. That even makes it easier for guests to find their towels or if they wanna hang dry them, they have hooks there. So I'm super happy with this piece. So instead of spending like $30 to $50 on artwork, these hooks were only $16 from Target. Um, I'll link them down below and I just feel like they fill up that space so beautifully. I was also needing a sign for back here above the toilet, and so I found this blessed for $8.99 at Ross, and I love that it has a little wood element just to add in here. I also have that plant element. Sometimes it's nice to break up all like the whites and grays and golds. And then of course I did my toilet paper stamping. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take these tags off. Every time I kept walking into the space, seeing the tags were driving me crazy. And I just have the curtain rod setting up there. It's not hung yet. So if you wait just a few seconds, we're gonna show you how we actually hung it. Just wanna love you, just wanna so here's a look of it up close if you want to see the gold rod with the gray and the clear hooks. I'm super happy with the way it turned out. I just feel like it looks so elegant with the clear hooks up there and those were actually super cheap. So that was just the rod sitting there. This is once we drilled those pieces that we painted um, gold into the wall and those were only $1.98 from Lowe's just in case you're looking to do something like that. But I'm super happy with the way this turned out. This shower curtain is to die for um, and it was only $10 from Ross but now I'm just going to show you some clips of how everything turned out definitely let me know down below in the comments section which piece is your favorite Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and watching my video and commenting and liking it. It just helps me so, so much. I just love you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.